In the name of the Father, the Son of the, the Holy, Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. And a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, do not bother me. The door has already been locked and my children and I are, are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give food, good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, o Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please go ahead, it again. Key pointers for today's Gospel, number one. Many of us love our children and family naturally and give them the very best to all that we have, often spoiling them in the process. We call that love. Number two, God our Father in today's gospel is infinitely more loving. Such divine, unconditional love is beyond our human comprehension. Understandably so, as our experiences of human love is always conditional, conditional. Number three, thank God sincerely from your heart for his infinite love for us. Then ask him, Lord, how can I love you more? Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. So today's gospel no is one of the most beautiful gospels no as Jesus promised no ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be opened unto you uh, part of the prayers yan ng, ng novena to santo nino ng novena to uh, sacred heart and uh, padre pio no sa healing so it's very very powerful because it's Jesus himself who said this it is himself who said who said this, and then if we remember, no, si si Saint Padre Pio, no, he he always encourages us to pray unceasingly. Pray unceasingly, yun ang sabi ni Padre Pio. So, um, any anybody who has something to for reflection. I I have here short no no short reflection no but I'm going to read no and maybe after this you you might want to say something no this is from our favorite uh Marino das Marinas no it says here how persistent are you in your prayer you beautiful how persistent are you for example if you have a prayer before Jesus do you pray until your prayer is answered by him you or you easily give up 
because you feel uh, you feel Jesus doesn't hear your prayer. The best attitude to have when you pray is not to give up, not to give up, because giving up is a sign of lack of faith. Yun. Once in a while, guilty tayo dito. I mean, personally, ako sometimes, no, you 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 have a, a lack of faith. The foundation of every prayer is faith. For without faith, there is no successful prayer. For example, if you pray for healing for your sickness or you pray for something that you badly want, you must therefore pray unceasingly with faith. In our gospel, there is a persistent fellow who during the dead of night went to the house of his friend to ask for bread for his visitor. What moved this fellow to go to his friend to ask for bread even at midnight? It was faith. The fellow had faith that his friend would never fail him. In our gospel tells us, ask and you, and you will receive, seek and you shall find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives, the one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. Do you have a prayer before Jesus? Never give up. Continue instead to badger him with your prayer with faith. Prayer that comes from the depths of your heart and soul. Amen. Amen. Beautiful, no? Very beautiful um, section of today's gospel. Well, every day, every day's gospel is beautiful, but this is one of the most popular. But ask and you shall receive. And then, and then, if we remember, no, some uh, in our previous gospels, no, we always um, hear Jesus say, "Your faith has saved you." Yeah, your faith has saved you. See, and then if you remember, also we ask one time, no, Father Danny, no, na, if if the one we are praying for doesn't have faith or doesn't know that we are praying for them or for him, no, uh, because of our faith, according to Father Danny, because because of our faith, healing will be granted, especially if we pray for healing, because of our faith, not the faith of that somebody that we are praying for. But our faith. Okay, yeah, let's pray for one another. Praying for one another is really a, a communal a prayer is really very successful, and we have we have experienced that in in our ministry. And damning healing, a lot of healings uh, took place, and um, and uh, we glorify the Lord because of this. No, because our faith, our faith uh, heals. Our faith heals or can heal. Amen. 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 Any experience uh, about this healing? Uh, I, I, I'm about prayers, pray unceasingly. Once in a while, kasi guilty tayo. Na, uh, I myself has even asked Father Danny, Father Danny, when when do I know that my 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 prayers are not answered? Hanggang ngayon is uh, I, until now I'm still waiting. So Father Danny said, uh, you know, we because all all prayers are, are answered, naman kasi. Eh. And then what if I have been praying for many many years? Uh, the answer pala is no. Do I do I uh, do I continue praying according to Father that it, it's not us to decide. It's not us to decide now my prayer is granted. Just pray unceasingly. Yun. Kasi kung minsan, yeah, most most of the time, not really most of the time, but uh, sometimes we are challenged, but we are challenged. Our faith, our faith is being challenged, bang na. Tingnan ko lang. Sig siguro the, the Lord said, tingnan ko lang kung hanggang saan na pasensya mo. <laughs> ang faith mo baka ganyan ba baka. pero just like what i i i shared before no na na after 26 years no my 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 prayer was answered after 26 years 26 years and my prayer was answered 26 years kasi pray unceasingly daw eh 
So yun as yes. yun siguro ang Yeah, oh, yun siguro expression na hanggang may, hanggang buhay ang tao is may pag-asa. Yun siguro. <laughs> so um, yeah. Can I say something? Yeah, sure. I'll just add something to what you said that uh, after 26 years your prayers have been answered. I have I think during all those 26 years, your prayers were being answered in the sense that God was preparing things and especially you to be able to receive what you got after 26 years. Maybe all the time you were praying, you were not ready to receive it. Yeah. Yeah. So the answer to your pray, the answer to your prayers was. Okay, I'll prepare you for what you are asking for. We're not ready to get it now. Yeah, it's true. In, in other words, is. yes. Oh. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I agree, no, because in God's time, mm -hmm. oh, in God's time, oh, He will grant the prayers in His time, not our time. Oh. And um, like, like we say. We pray unceasingly. Why is that? Why is that? That um, all the saints, all the saints are, saying, are saying, yeah, all the saints are saying that we should pray unceasingly because you cannot pray unless you look at the the being that you are praying to as Almighty. Unless you look at yourself lower or in, in uh, humility, humility relative to God, you cannot pray. Uh. We, it is only when we recognize God's almighty power and almighty mercy that we really pray. And so when we say we pray unceasingly, that means we always keep in mind that God is almighty and God has control of everything. Uh -uh. Even the tiniest breath that we have. And so from the last time I've been joining the, the Zoom meeting and up to now, I learned the surrender prayer. A sign and, of humility. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and it is always like, for example, I got it. Okay, I got this one. Okay, it says, um, Jesus is speaking to our soul. Why do you confuse yourselves by worrying? Leave the care of your affairs to me and everything will be peaceful. I say to you in truth that every act of truth blind, complete surrender to me produces the effect that you desire and resolves all difficult situations. So um, the way I understand this is when we pray, we always say um, <clears throat> the right attitude, I think, is we always say, thy will be done. Because after all, God knows what's best for us. But of course, because we are humans, we also want what we want. And that's okay. Because God also wants us to look at him as the father. And if we are his children, he wants us to make lambing to him. Okay? He wants us to ask for everything that we need, everything that we want from him. So... Still, just like children, when we ask something from our parents, we should keep in mind that the parents have the final say. And that's the same thing. God always has the final say in his own time, in his own way, but nobody can beat it. It's always the best for us. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tita Horse.
So uh, um so every time we pray uh like uh, Tita Cora said no be humble pray with humility and then after uh, after praying no yeah thy will be done or according to your will according to your will O Lord because Jesus Christ himself as son of God but he said not my will he said to his mm -hmm. father not my will but yours Im imagine no I, siya is anak ng Diyos I, uh, anak siya ng Diyos he is, he is son of, of God and, and yet he said according to your not my will but yours take this cup away from me yun ang sabi no? beautiful talagang be humble be humble be dependent be dependent on God be dependent Amen Amen Day MJ. Yeah. Um, what you said <clears throat> about uh, Jesus saying, they will be done, or not my, not my will, but yours. yours. If we remember throughout the Gospels in the Bible, Jesus never claimed um, glory and power as his. He always said, the one who sent me, the father who sent me. And do you, there are two, there are two very noteworthy prayers that Jesus taught us. One is the Lord's prayer. And the other one is not a prayer, but he taught us how to pray. And this is also one in the St. Padre Pio's Novena. I think it's the second one. Um, whatever you ask of the Father in my name. In my name. Uh, he will give you. Do you see? So that means that um, I think when we pray, we pray always to God the Father in the name of Jesus, name of because Jesus. God the Father will not say no if to the Son. Jesus himself intercedes for us. The reason, I think, why God the Father cannot refuse Jesus, it's because he sent Jesus to care for us. He sent Jesus to save us. And so, you know, if, if Jesus himself is interceding for us, God the Father will always say yes. Because we were hardly, we were won in a very hard manner. Nabawi niya tayo sa kasalanan sa, you know, by um, giving up his life. And so his father, the one who sent him to do that mission, cannot say no. Yeah. That's, that's uh, why it's always, yeah. you know, powerful. Uh -huh. To pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Kasi if we, uh, yeah, it's true, no? Na, kasi uh, we are sinners. We're not even worth to pray, mm -hmm. no? Praying is communication, communication with God. We are not worth because we are sinners. But if we if we pray uh, in the name of Jesus, so, you know, Jesus will open open the communication. Open uh, Jesus will open the 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 heart of the father to us because through him no um di ba may ano sa sa nagsabi si Jesus no through only through him that we'll have salvation through him not because he is the son of god but through him because he he has suffered for us already so kumbaga natubos na tayo kumbaga ano na na ano na tub, na ano nga tubos <laughs> nagawad nagawad na na ano na na nalukat na tayo nalukat na ransom through him na ransom na tayo and what what a price no imagine no ang Jesus allowed himself to suffer and die for us just to ano just to ransom us it, and they said it's it's our sins that uh, make Jesus so, suffer so much. 
it's our sins. So, amen. Beautiful. Amen. Beautiful. So, Tito Manny, do you have something? For anybody? Anybody who has something? Wala na. Amen na. Amen. 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 So, and, and next, do you have something? Anybody? Wala, wala na June. But did you see this appeal of the Pope for the world to pray on October 18th? Did you see that? That the Pope mm -hmm. Dal is appealing peace. for world peace. Us. For world peace. For, for world peace. peace. It, wow. It, it's beautiful, no? Kasi we have our monthly mass sa October 18th. October 18th. Yeah. October 18th is our monthly mass. So please uh, invite uh, uh, other uh, ano, no? Ad, other um, prayer warriors, no? Convenience. Warriors. And, uh, yeah. and also families and friends, no? This is very important. Kasi this might escalated na nga eh escalated ng situation and then baka mag chain reaction na ba na mag mag uh, ang, ang ano dito is uh, may prediction i don't know if you believe in predictions no i don't know hindi ko ma, ma mention ang pangalan the one who predicted no pero uh, sabi is uh, Jerusalem Jerusalem will will uh, ano will be will not no longer be Jerusalem wala na ma mawala na mawala na. from the face of the earth Mm -hmm. uh, mawala na mawala na ang Jerusalem I don't know na na uh, hindi naman siguro wipe wipe off no in the face of uh, on the face of the earth no but baka wala na ang Jerusalem wala na ang ang importance niya wala na ang ang significance niya wala na mawala na yun ang fun and then and then uh, we we hope and pray no that this will never happen no or this is not the time kasi they said if Jerusalem will be will be erased or there will be no more Jerusalem second coming is really coming the second coming of Jesus is really coming kasi nawala ng Jerusalem eh. so that's very scary yeah, that's very scary so let's all pray. Tapos, uh, let's all pray. Let, let, let's all pray. This is the time that we really get together and pray. If you so. watch what's unfolding sa Israel at sa Gaza, grabe talaga, no? Both it's sides, it's grabe. It's, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. Both mm. sides. Nakakaiyak. Nakakaiyak. The evil, no? So, wala mag-surrender. Wala mag-surrender. Oh, oh. Dami ng mga so mga oh my God. And, and Dami even mga bata. Dami oh. mga bata na namatay. Oo, oh, ma. Uh, and and mga even na and and even the, the prime minister of Israel no um predict uh predicts na this will be a long war. Kasi alam niya, eh, alam niya war sa ano sa uh, sa Palestina sa Gaza but ang naga ang naga help is Iran so mga superpowers it is it's, it's not only it is not only war of of Israel and Gaza Gaza mga Palestinians is poor sila eh not even very educated and then 80% of them depends on ano lang ba oh, uh, donations lang ang livelihood nila donor lang naga depend sila but this is very important kasi behind behind the palestinians is uh, uh, iran so bo two two superpowers yun ang nakakatakot so let's uh, keep on praying huh? let's keep on praying we gather together especially kung bakit sabi ng pope is uh, october 18 ang um, prayer for world peace oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. and yun ang monthly monthly mass natin so that's very very important uh, okay. event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, Miga Belen for the closing prayer. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> prayer moves the hands that will unite the world. Prayer causes God who wanted the universe to make things happen. Lord, we praise and thank you for this day allowing us to meet again. Please 
send your Holy Spirit to guide us and to inspire us of our life. We pray for your guidance and blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And all together, please, glory be to the Father, the, the, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, Father, Amen. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you very you. much. And good Thank night. You. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank good night, you, everyone. Good night. 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 Good